Hi, uh, John Davis from MD Anderson. So happy to be in Colorado Springs for the Future Directions meeting. Uh, what I contributed is a very focused new talk. Uh, a lot of what goes on in this meeting is diagnostic overviews, a lot on biomarkers, imaging, things that apply or appeal to everyone in prostate cancer. Um, one of the common things that we kind of rally around is the efficacy of PSA screening, uh, what guidelines panels have shown. And so, for example, Jerry Andriel talked about what the U.S. Task Force panel from 2012 did, uh, giving it a poor rating and what that did to downstream biopsy and other effects. I actually, in my meet, talk, followed up on a small sub-theme of that. It caught my attention back in 2012 that um, they quoted 1990s data that, that kind of shocked me, saying that one in 200 men undergoing prostate surgery died within 30 days, which for me, that would be once a year, and that would be awfully depressing. And, uh, you know, we've all had these rare events. So for me, it's personally, it's probably one in 2,500 type of ratio. So at the same time, in 2012, a database became available to my research team uh, that looked at insurance and hospital networks, and we were seeing mortality ratios more of like one in 3,500 uh, for, prost for robotic prostatectomy. Open, it was better too. It was like one in 1,500. The problem was it lost track of data when a patient was discharged. So we, we tried presenting it, and it just kind of died off right there. But that data set is now better. It's called Premier Perspective. So now it does capture post-discharge data. So you can get a clean 30-day rate. So what we found is around one in 1,500 mortality rate after robotic surgery. And it's around one to three to 400 range for the open um, procedures. Now, of course, there's been a dramatic shift. When we first looked at the database, it was like 04 to 10. So the predominant technique was open surgery. Now um, we're looking at 08 to 16 data, and the shift is heavily robotic. But so it's safe to say, though, the good news was um, over the decades, the mortality rate from the surgery has significantly improved over what the task force quoted on their evidence review. And we need to continue that train because if you look at what are the, how many people does screening save from prostate cancer mortality, if you then create a new treatment-related mortality, even if it's non-prostate, then you've sort of undone your efforts. So uh, I think in the future direction of prostate cancer, we need to also pay attention to uh, non-prostate cancer mortality.